championship that is yet to be won. After the second sector, three and a half tenths up for Jarvis, seven and a half tenths up for Shatan, six tenths up for uh, for Jop van Ute. Could this swing uh, to Paul up Shatan and have one more lap if they've got the tyres underneath them? Here comes Jarvis. What can he do? His best, a 138-1. It goes to a 137.6, he goes to pole. To pole, though, goes a 136.9. Seven tenths up almost for Paul Luke Chatan. 40 seconds on the clock. What about Vanuta? Where can he end up? Second, 31,000 to a second is the gap with 30 seconds on the clock. So we've got one more lap for everybody. Paul Luke Chatan best placed with provisional pole at this stage. Jot van Outer really not too far away though, 31 thousandths of a second as he worms his way out of turn number three. Here's the Delage sponsored number 28 car from Edex Sport of Paul Luc Chatter. He has the point in his hands at the moment, but that's the pressure for Panis watching his car through every single split. And the better time then through sector one is with Paul Luc Chatter. By two thousandths of a second, both the top two cars right in the window. They're both up on pole time. Paul Luc Chatham by 0.262 of a second. Jock Van Uten by 0.260 of a second. Chatham adds a further tenth of that. He's still only four tenths up after sector two. Two tenths up is Oli Jarvis. The margins are tiny. Nearly four tenths up and actually takes uh, about a tenth out of the uh, Chatham car goes Jock Van Uten. The pendulum swings again. It's going to be so, so tight. The chequered flag is out. This group coming down through the final turn now. It's going to be Oli Jarvis that goes through first. He will go to pole, I think, with this lap. He goes to pole with 136.7, 136.1, Shatan. Where is Jot van Uten? It's coming down the final straight now, Johnny Palmer. Next few seconds, we'll get our answer. Will the 65 crew get the point for pole position? They will not. They're only going to start from third place. So he lost a whole load of time in the final sector of that lap. And 65 and those team uh, me members and engineers dropped to their knees with disappointment because really to keep that championship alive as much as possible they were so hungry for that point but it will go the way of edex sports who are not in the title hunt in fact so it's as you were but hang on a minute 25 car of james allen about to cross the line and james allen will go to fourth position in car number 25. very close indeed to taking third position for jock van Uta. that must have been either not finding the grip he thought was there or a minor error in the third sector Boy, oh boy, that was some qualifying session between those three. Made all the more crucial because of that 24-point gap that separates Algarve Pro Racing, the championship leaders, back to Panis Racing, number 65. They could have made it a 23-point gap. I mean, it's still a long shot for tomorrow's race. But if there's a point on offer, everybody wants it. And as it turns out, it's a team not in contention for the title that wins it. So it's as you were, Algarve Pro Racing, car number 25 will start tomorrow's race on 95 points. The United Order Sports 22 on 75 points. Panis Racing 65 on 71 points. Here are the times, 137.153 for Edex Sport and Paul Luc Chatin by just over, just under six tenths of a second in the end from Oliver Jarvis and the United Order Sports number 22. Then Panis Racing for Jot van Outer, Algar Pro Racing's James Allen snatched fourth position in the dying stages ahead of Inter Europol competition Ollie Caldwell, Duquesne team's Neil Jani and Vlad Lomko in the number 47 Cool Racing car. It's a pole position for the 99 Proton Racing car for Giorgio Roda. In 11th place overall, the 15 RLRM Sport car with the LM MP3 fastest lap just ahead of championship winners Cool Racing and you have to look down to 29th place overall for the pole sitter in GTE which is the number 16 car of Ryan Hardwick who did the team did the time along with Zach Robichon and Alessio Picariello supreme lap as well from Takeshi Kimura to put the 57 car guy Ferrari